you don't believe the niggas. He didn't say anything about any of these white boys. And none of these white boys function like that. And Cat is one of the best painters in the game. Stop. And Cat hurt people, hurt people, but I am a hurt person. They never hurt people. And he does it all the time. This one and that one and this one. But anything that you did wrong. Cat. William recently dropped by Shannon. Sharp's Club Shea podcast and let me tell you he spilled all the tea this episode went on for like three hours and Kat was straight up on fire, no filter. Whatsoever he threw shade at Steve, Harvey, Michael, Blacken, Ricky, Smiley, and Cedric the Entertainer. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to LA and in his first year in LA, he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? And of course, he couldn't resist taking a swipe at Kevin Hart. He pretty much called him an industry plant and claimed he fibbed about how he made it big in the comedy scene. These two have been going at each other for ages, throwing jabs online in an interview. It's like a never-ending drama of celebrity feuds. Now, here's the kicker Dave Chappell warned Kat about calling out fellow black comedians in the past and here back again to let Kat know that he won't just get away with what he's doing so that very first thing that is relevant to this whole Cat Williams story is the way in which Cat went after Kevin Hart. It basically set off an entire chain of events that is going on to this very day and will be going on for many more what caused it. And why did he do it well? It seems like Cat William finally lost it completely and he had to let out all of the anger that he has been holding inside for years and years. The wild history of Kevin Hart and Cat Williams began a long time ago and these two con- E.D. Giants have been throwing punches at each other for almost a decade, from Kat's controversial comments to Kevin's strategic comebacks. The comedy world has become their battleground picture. This Cat Williams went all out, not just taking shots at Kevin Hart, but also throwing shade at athletes like Shaquille O'Neal trying their hand at comedy. This feud was already heating up back in August 2014. It's like an everlasting saga of comedic clashes that's been keeping us entertained for years. I think that Shaq and Russell Simmons should get out of comedy and stay in their lane. They don't see us making a league of professional basketball players under six foot. So what qualifies these dudes because they got a hundred million dollars to come over in comedy and do Shaq's all-star get out of here, you bum. That's right. Before I take the rest of you girls. <laughs> like you took Kevin Hart from me. <laughs> I want my b Then for two years, Kat's been cold turkey, but all of that changed in February, February 2016, when things were reaching another boiling point between Cat Williams and Kevin Hart during his conspiracy theory tour stop in Atlanta C didn't hold back straight up calling Kevin Hart a puppet. This made headlines as reported by Vibe Cat was adamant that he earned his stripes in the comedy game and wasn't afraid to take a swipe at Hart. He even said if Hart's a puppet, that ain't his fault Cat urged people not to. Hate on a fellow black man hustling even if he wasn't everyone's favorite flavor. But Cat didn't stop there. He compared himself to other black comedians, emphasizing that just because because some think he's the best, it doesn't mean he's dissing the others. He used analogies like getting mad at Kermit. The frog when you should be upset with Jim Henson, or saying forget Mickey Mouse when it's really Walt Disney. You should be mad at Cat had a way with words, no doubt about it. I've already proven that if the best they got in comedy is Kevin Hart, don't you boo a black man working hard, baby? Even if that in is a puppet, it's not his fault we don't get mad just because I'm better than some black dudes doesn't mean I'm better than no black dudes, I'm saying. If you want to be mad at Kermit the Frog, don't be mad at Kermit. The Frog be mad at Jim Henson. Don't say F Donald Duck when you really mean F Walt Disney. Now here's how Kevin Hart responded he didn't go all out attack, but he dropped a more subtle rest. Upon saw on Instagram, he shared a pic from the 2016 Academy Awards chilling with comedy heavyweights Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock in his post he talked about how comedians should stick together and have each other's back he highlighted the shared grind it takes to reach the level of 
Success that only a few comedians achieve so amidst all the drama, this was Kevin Hart's way of reminding everyone that comedians got to support each other even when there's a feud brewing me and Dave Chappell without. Our brother Chris Rock tonight at the Oscars True Professionals understand the importance of sticking together and supporting one another at the end of the day we're comedians and there aren't many that make it to the level that we have made it, but so many doors are open from the success of one. Comedian. And when you see those doors open, you then have the opportunity to walk through them. It's about helping one another, not trying to tear each other down. The insecure ones will never understand support. Art and Encouragement 2016 saw yet another blow for blow between between these two comedians. Williams turned up the heat in his never-ending feud with Kevin Hart later that year as he was setting the stage for his conspiracy tour show in Philly on March 5. Cat had a plan, and it was all about stirring up some drama right in Hart's hometown. He threw down a hefty challenge daring the ride-along star to a $5 million bet in his own words. He said, I've seen your stuff on social media and I know what you, you do, but you do it for fun if you're serious about it. Here's the deal, Kevin. See, I've seen your stuff on social media. Boy, boy, I know you what you do, but you do it for play play. If you do it for real, here it is, Kevin. I got a show at your hometown in Philly. I'm going to take my special there. On that stage, we can put whatever you want. A full court basketball court, a boxing ring, two microphones for a rap cipher. Or you can get your ass dusted in comedy on that stage. But it's one million dollars up for each one. Cat didn't hold back laying out challenge options, a full court basketball game, a boxing match, a rap cipher with two mix or the big one, a comedy face off right on stage with a million dollars on the line for each challenge and he made sure to mention Hart's Forbes earnings and hinted that he'd bring his cash in person. But here's the kicker he told Hart not to bring any white folks along if he wasn't a puppet all of this while rocking that signature fur coat of his for a moment, though it seemed to. Everyone as if Cat had a little change of heart you see in March 16, Cat Williams switched gears during an appearance on V13 Atlanta's The Big Tigger Show. He stepped up and offered an apology to Kevin Hart for the harsh comments he had dished out during his comedy tour stop in Philly. Never mention Kevin Hart's name. That is the reigning king of comedy if you ask for popular consensus. So okay. now the fact that he's a black man like me and the fact that I attacked him with such vitriol at a time when um, our country is already divided in every way it could be divided, mm -hmm. racially, politically, uh, economically, socially, religiously. Like the fact that I, while being on stage pretending to be higher than that would then stoop down to the same level and try to um, embarrass Kevin Hart in front of his children and loved ones after mm -hmm. all the hard work he's done since the year 2002 is just regrettable on my part. So I humbly apologize to not only Kevin Hart, but Heartbeat Productions, the Plastic Cup Boys, and anybody associated with Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart Cat recognized the shared experiences they both had as black men and expressed remorse for going after Hart. With such intensity, especially during a time when the country was already divided during his chat, with the host, Thea D admitted that it was regrettable for him to try to embarrass Hart while doing his set. He made a genuine apology not just to Kevin Hart, but also to Heartbeat Productions, the Plastic Cup Boys, and anyone connected to Kevin Hart. It seemed like a moment of reflection and D an attempt to patch things up during that radio appearance. Then once again, two years flew by, and we didn't see any hate between Kat and Kevin publicly. But in September of 2018, things got more interesting in the Hart Williams showdown. The spotlight shifted to Tiffany Hish when Williams, during an interview on V1003, is Frank and Wanda in the morning, started taking jabs at her comedy skills and questioned if she could pull off a major tour. Kevin Hart wasn't one to bite his tongue while promoting the air movie Night School on The Breakfast Club. He went to bat for Tiffany Haddish and didn't hold back in dissing William Aided Hart, called out Williams for blaming Hollywood and the white man instead of owning up to his own actions when he had a chance to shine. 